It's time to take a Tiger Cat's time out with Patrice Whiffin. The answer here with JV and Elliot. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Really appreciate your time. How is everything going? Everything's going great. Definitely appreciate you guys for having me on. Well, the fans are excited to learn a little bit more about you. Obviously, we're familiar with your playing style on the field, but we want to learn a little bit more about you. So if you don't mind, I'm going to ask a few personal questions, yeah, starting with your story, your journey to uh, Hamilton, your journey to the Ticats with a stop in the NFL. Like, quite an incredible, inspiring journey. Can you take us back a little bit and talk about that journey? Yeah, so with me, you know, coming out of high school, I didn't have any scholarships. I didn't play football for three years after high school. Wow. And, uh, you know, I, I had ended up walking on to Florida State and with two years of eligibility left. Uh, okay, hold on. You say that so nonchalantly. I ended up walking on to Florida State. How does that happen? How does that happen? So, so really, I didn't know. I didn't know what the process was like for walking on or anything like that. My dad, he he saw a lot of potential in me, mm -hmm. and he reached out to some schools, and Florida State was the school that ended up allowing me to walk on. You know, no so way. it was a great opportunity for that. Yeah. Okay, so you're at Florida State. Then what? Well, my first year, they had just won a national championship, and honestly, I came in. I was playing good. You know, making a name for myself but I had some distractions off the field. Ended yeah, up becoming ineligible. Enough. Okay. Uh, so I, I had two years left, like I said. So that's one year gone, being ineligible, not being able to play that year. Um, then my whole thing was just coming back the next year and focusing, up, focusing on the things that I need to focus on and getting that scholarship so I can get on the field. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then in terms of focusing, um, was there anything that you did kind of differently? Is there anything that you were focusing more closely on that maybe wasn't a focus the year before? Yeah, eliminating distractions. That was my thing, you know, realizing what was at stake. Okay. You know, I had a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to play at Florida State and get right. an opportunity to potentially go to the NFL. So, you know, it was really now or never. You know, I had to really cut out the party and cut out the, you know, really anything that was messing up my – the main thing right any advice for someone maybe dealing with similar distractions and on how to actually kind of put that aside and, and focus in on the game yeah yeah like I like I was saying you just have to realize like what's at stake you know even if your distraction might not be party it might be something else like yep. some sort of adversity everyone's dealing with it and at the end of the day you know really we just have to try to keep like I said the main thing the main thing but also just realizing that no matter what adversity is, you have to continue to go through it. You know, you might not see a way out. You might not see, you not you might not even see whatever the the next big moment is. You might feel like nothing's ever going to happen. You just have to keep pushing and keep going through those times, and that's going to build your build your personality, build your character, and just overall strengthen you for what's to come. So you eliminated the distractions. You focused. You were in the game. You built your game. Uh, what what happened next? Sorry, could you repeat that? You were building your game. You focused in on what was most important. What mm -hmm. happened next at Florida State? Uh, uh, yeah, at Florida State, I ended up ended up getting my scholarship, which was huge mm -hmm. as a walk on, and ended up becoming a starter. And you know, my first game, man, caught an interception against Louisville, playing against Lamar Jackson. And then uh, after that, I just ended up playing every game. Then I got an opportunity to go undrafted play in the NFL for four years and uh, yeah now I'm here that's a that's that's really the shortcut story you know <laughs> such an inspiring story with again a, not a very easy uh, blueprint or or kind of step-by-step -step process you definitely found lots of different ways to get to your end goal which is so inspiring what is your advice for the next generation the younger football players or even you know maybe those athletes out there that don't think that a career in the big leagues is even possible yeah well, I mean, that's the thing, you know, it's only it's only one percent of people who does this. So at the end of the day, you know, there's people out there who they're not going to believe you. You're going to get told no. You're going to get rejected. Right. Like whatever it is, like, you know, you have to do your part in putting in the work. You know, sometimes you can't control who's going to give you that opportunity right. or, you know, some things are just out of your control. You know, I believe in God and I believe he opened up every door for me because, you know, who am I? You know, I'm a guy who didn't play football for three years after high school. I'm a guy who who was told that he was too small, who was told that he couldn't do this to do that. And, you know, year in and year out, 
the, the, the goal for me and the goal for those who's in that situation is just go out there and prove your, prove your worth. You know, go out there and show the world that, you know, they can't tell you what you can or can't do. Excellent. So inspiring. <laughs> Take us to kind of JV and off the field. What are you doing in your downtime? How are you relaxing? Are you exploring the city of Hamilton? Take us through it all. Uh, yeah, I've, I've been exploring, kind of going to a few restaurants in the Burlington, Hamilton. Okay. Uh, Any that stand out to you? Um, where have I been? In, in Hamilton specifically? Yeah. I think it was called bread bar okay is yeah that what it's called? yeah that's the one uh is it it's another one bean bar bean i don't know i don't know I that, one. that one I okay that one. radius right. i think radius yeah that's a I've great one there. too those are the main ones that i've been in hamilton okay uh are you much uh, of a foodie or just I you am. like okay i am i try to i try to go places i've been i've been to more places like in the toronto area of but course i haven't been to a ton of places i've only been here for a few weeks so. of course of course mm -hmm. well well you've got lots of time to explore maybe the fans will give you some suggestions yeah, some recommendations sure. with this video um what else are you doing in your downtime maybe at home are you reading listening to music watching shows yeah yeah i'm real like lately i've been getting into reading okay um i watch shows every now and then but i try to use my time if i'm do watching something maybe watch a podcast or okay. do something where i can learn whether it's about entrepreneurship, creating content, real estate investing, you know, I try to I try to branch out, you know, and do do that type of thing. What are you most passionate about? You listed a couple of things that I think the fans would not necessarily expect mm -hmm. that you're into, uh, because a lot of those are outside of football. What are you most into uh, learning about in terms of entrepreneurship, content creation, real yeah. estate, all of those things? Uh, or is I, it a combination of all three? It's a combination, but in terms of passion, like I really love like this conversation that we're having where I get to speak to the youth and yeah. help any of the younger athletes out, you know, so I, I try to create content lately. I've been focused on football, so I haven't been doing that much content, but you know, yeah, that's my thing. You know, I love to really just give back and try to try to inspire others, whether it's football players or not, you know, that's my thing. I try to encourage a lot of people and lift them up in terms of entrepreneurship in that way. If fans want to connect with you, if they want to learn from you, how can they do that? Yeah, they can they can write me on Instagram. Uh, that's really the main thing to reach out to me on or yeah, okay. on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. There you go. Well, I'll be sure to hit them up on Instagram. Thank you so much, Javian, for your time. Really appreciate it. Right. And uh, good luck this season. All right. Thank you.